Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're doing well. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Cooking with Barbara Motoani. If you're new here, Karim Musani, you're so much welcome. Remember to subscribe and to press the notification bell so that you can be part of this wonderful family and you get informed every time I post a new video. So today I have another interesting video, so you better keep watching. So guys, to make yogurt at home, you need two main ingredients. That is milk. I'm using fresh ATM milk. It is more preferred when making yogurt at home and also it is very affordable. These are two liters. I got them at 136 shillings, 68 shillings per liter. Then you need yogurt. Yes, you need yogurt to make yogurt. That is because you need live culture that is present in yogurt. So when you're going to buy your yogurt first thing, make sure the yogurt has live culture. So check on the ingredients if it has live culture. Don't buy it if it doesn't have live culture. The second thing, buy the best yogurt you can get. And according to my knowledge, buy your yogurt is the best that you can get quite expensive like this is 150 ml goes for 110 shillings compared to the other yogurts which you, you get 500 ml at 100 shillings but it's value for your money this yogurt is really good it's not a paid advert but call a spade a spade so buy bio yogurt that has live culture and another thing buy nature natural or nature plain yogurt don't buy flavored yogurt so that you can uh, be able to diversify the yogurt that you make you can make half a batch of vanilla half a batch of strawberry and so on and so forth then the other two ingredients that you need are sugar which you'll put according to your preference and then you'll need essence essence you can use vanilla you can use strawberry depending on the kind or the type of yogurt that you want you can also add um fresh fruits to enhance the taste and also for health benefits yes guys so uh so far we need only four ingredients to make our yogurt at home so let's get on to the process of making the actual yogurt so the next thing that you want to do is to boil your milk this is just to kill all the germs that might be present in the milk and also it will increase the lifespan of the yogurt that we are about to make so please do not skip the process of boiling the milk first yes yeah, so let's get on to boiling the milk switch on the gas and light it up place our sufuria with the milk and then we are going to give this a few minutes to boil minutes later as you can see our milk is starting to boil yeah so what we are going to do now is we're going to switch off the gas and go to the next thing next step is to strain the milk to remove all the cream that has formed on top or any dirt that might be present in the milk once you've saved your milk the next thing is very important allow your milk to cool to 115 degrees fahrenheit or to um, a warm touch using your finger you dip your finger inside the milk if you're able to keep your finger inside the milk for around 10 seconds, just by counting 10 seconds, then your milk is good to use. But also it shouldn't be very warm that you can keep your finger up to 20 seconds. I hope you get the logic of it. Minutes later, my milk is cool. I've already tested using my finger. Please use clean fingers. And... Yeah, so the next thing is you're going to start adding our ingredients. And please, please try as much to use plastics when making your yogurt or even wooden uh, utensils. Try to avoid metallics because they tend to kill the bacteria that we want to make the yogurt. So uh, we're going to start by adding our bio yogurt. Thank you. 
so I'm just trying to scoop all that I can to avoid wasting Yeah, so the next thing is we're going to add our vanilla essence because I'm aiming at having vanilla yogurt. So I'm going to use the lid to measure approximately one and a quarter of the lid. That is about one and a quarter teaspoons if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so the next thing we're going to add is sugar. And for sugar, please put according to your taste and preference if you don't prefer uh, adding sugar well and good you can have your natural yogurt so i'm going to add around five tablespoons yeah then using my spatula i'm going to stir everything together to ensure all the sugar has dissolved Take your time, take your time to stir and ensure there's no sugar particles left at the bottom of the utensil that you're using. So it is also at this point that you taste just to ensure that the sugar is enough. So I'm going to test. And according to me, um, I'm going to add a little sugar. Guys, remember this is according to your taste and preference, please. So just a little more sugar in. And I'm sure that will be good. So we stir a little more. Yeah, so I think everything is now well mixed so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to cover our mixture and to cover i'm going to use a clean film because we don't want any air to enter a clean film will uh, really do the job but if the container that you're using to make the mixture has a lid well and good you don't need a clean film but since this one is a bowl and it doesn't have a lid I'm going to use the cling film. Please make sure it is as tight as it can get. So let me get a knife to cut. And just to ensure there's no air that gets in, I'm going to put a second layer of cling film.
Okay. So another thing that I want to tell you guys. After this, you're good to go. But the next thing that you need to do is to find a warm place to place your mixture. A place that is very warm throughout. And for that, you can use one, a thermos. But as you can see, already we are using a bowl. Second, you, you can use um, this uh, warm fleece blanket that I'd greatly, greatly advise. You just wrap your mixture around it. But also, you can use uh, the oven by just switching the oven light on not switching the oven on just making sure the oven light is on that is also another method but using the fleece blanket is the most easiest way that you can do it so just find a warm blanket that you can use and place your mixture there like i'm doing and then you cover So we are just going to fold to ensure it is well it is well layered. The more the layers, the more the warmth. This acts as a traditional oven. So guys, we are going to leave this one overnight. It's now it's around 5 p.m. So I'm going to open it tomorrow when I wake up around 9. So that will be around 15 hours. That is very good to work with. So yeah, so see you tomorrow morning. Good morning, guys. So it's the next morning around 8 30 a.m so there's something really really important that i forgot to tell you yesterday and that's about um not moving this package <laughs> this thing this yogurt please do not move it where you kept it let it stay there until the next morning please please do not move so let's get on to opening and seeing how our yogurt is Yeah, so let's open. So guys, remember we put in two layers of cling film just to ensure no air gets into the yogurt. So let's check the thickness. Hey, you guys, can you see the thickness of this yogurt? You can actually think it's ice cream. It is very, very thick. That's as a, as a result of following all the steps and using good yogurt. So let's mix and see how it is. It is very thick, very thick. I hope you can see it through the camera and very smooth. It doesn't have any lumps. That's because we saved our milk. So this is really value for your money. You're saving a lot, a lot of money. Mostly if you uh, make a bigger batch of around 7 liters, it really saves you a lot. And also remember what I told you guys, the yogurt that you're going to prepare now, you're going to use it uh, for around four times you're not going to buy another yogurt to make the yogurt i hope you understand so i'm going to show you how i'm going to store my little yogurt that i'm going to use as culture for my next batch of yogurt yes so what i'm going to do next is i'm going to store this yogurt in a tin because you're not going to consume it right now this will serve my family for around five days yeah so i'm just transferring it into a jug first so that it can be easier to pour it into a tin So guys, what we are going to do next is we are going to take our bio yogurt tin. Um, here it is, this tin, and we are going to add 
rather to put in some yogurt and this is what you're going to use as culture for our next yogurt so guys by now i hope you've understood what i was trying to say since the beginning that we're not going to buy more yogurt when we are going to prepare our next batch of yogurt so you can do this up to four times and then after that you buy another yogurt so the remaining yogurt i'm going to put it in the tin that had milk So we cover it using the lid. Yeah, and as you can see, guys, the yogurt is still two liters as the milk was. The remaining part is the one that we've put aside for our next culture. Yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video and you've learned how to prepare yogurt and tea at home. Thank you for watching. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you've enjoyed it and you've learned something and you've tried the recipe and tell me how it goes on all my social media platforms. Until next time, bye and remember to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you've not.